The Washington Wizards are experiencing a season marked by inconsistent performance. They are currently going through a results crisis, evident by only one win in their last 10 games. And that was against the Atlanta Hawks. With a record of 734, they are currently second to last in the standings, with only the Detroit Pistons having a worse record. The offensive focal points for the Wizards are Kyle Kuzma and Jordan Poole. Kuzma averages 22.2 points, 6.3 rebounds, and 4.2 assists per game. Poole contributes with an average of 17.1 points per game. Notably, Marvin Bagley has been performing well recently, as demonstrated in the game against the San Antonio Spurs where he scored 21 points and grabbed 12 rebounds. Well, they handle the majority of their offensive tasks with ease. Defense remains their main weakness, resulting in a lack of favorable outcomes and a lower number of victories. It's worth mentioning Dan Ayabdijo, whose game is quite well-rounded, but in the current team composition, it's challenging to expect a significant breakthrough. For the Wizards to compete with the Denver Nuggets, they must be flawless offensively, leveraging their main strengths, three-point shooting and transition play, to put themselves in a position to engage in a close finish. A significant question mark remains regarding how they will defensively respond to the gameplay of Jokic and Murray, as this aspect could heavily influence the outcome of the game. The current NBA champions are performing quite well, notably consistently defeating teams from the upper echelons of the standings but occasionally experiencing losses to underdogs. In their last five games, they've secured three wins, holding the third position in the Western Conference with a record of 29-14. The undisputed leader of this team in every possible aspect is two-time NBA MVP and the MVP of the last finals, Nikola Jokic. Crucial to the entire composition of the Denver Nuggets is the fact that Jokic makes all his teammates better, embodying the true definition of a team player. The Serbian center averages 25.7 points, 11.9 rebounds, and 9.1 assists per game. Jamal Murray is also in an ascending form, evidenced by his recent performance of 35 points with impressive shooting percentages to Tafty 1-1. Aaron Gordon contributes brilliantly on both ends of the court, and all other team members complement each other, both offensively and defensively, showcasing the team's primary strength. To secure another win, it is imperative for the Nuggets to maximize the use of open shots that arise from excellent ball movement. Their trademark is team play, and there's no doubt this will be the case again. The only question is to what extent they can convert these opportunities and how much their challenging game against the Boston Celtics will impact their shooting percentages. In the last 10 games between these two teams, the Denver Nuggets have emerged victorious six times. It is worth noting that they are currently on a four-game winning streak against the Washington Wizards. Absences and injuries, Daniel Gafford is questionable for the Washington Wizards. Julian Strother and Vlako Kansar will not play for the Denver Nuggets. Aaron Gordon is questionable due to a shoulder injury. Despite the Washington Wizards being in rather poor form and being considered significant underdogs according to global bookmakers and betting sites, there are certain elements that lead us to believe they won't be defeated by a margin greater than the offered spread. The Denver Nuggets recently played against the Boston Celtics at the Tea Garden, and after an exceptionally challenging game, they traveled to D.C. The Washington Wizards have been performing exceptionally well offensively and show clear improvement in that aspect of their game. Although the Denver Nuggets have won the last four head-to-head -head matchups, the margin of win has never exceeded 13 points. We anticipate a similar scenario this time around. Our prediction is Washington Wizards plus 14.5. Yeah, I will be there.